my name is Houston and I'm back with another pickup and this is a pair of the Carmines that I picked up from eBay and believe it or not I got these for $55 and let me adjust this camera a little bit yeah so I seen these on the I usually check the listings every day for newly listed shoes and that's how I found these but they didn't have any laces with them and they didn't come with the little lace locks. It was just the shoes by themselves and one missing insole. And the asking price was $55 plus the shipping. I forget how much it was, like $13, $14. And these are not the pair that I had picked up from Weedy and I still have those. Let me get them real quick. So, you know, these are the Carmines. They got the Nike Air on the back. This is the replica pair that I picked up a while back. See, it still got the Nike Air on the back. And these are still good. I wore these one time, but I wanted the, the authentic pair. So, like I said, I went on eBay and I usually check the newly listed Jordans. And I seen these for $55. And I went to see what was wrong with them because usually when they're around... The fifty to sixty dollar price to they need a whole new paint job or they got rips and tears or a lot of heel drag or something. But there was no flaws really, only just the you know the missing laces, lace locks, and the one insole. So I went ahead and looked them over and I grabbed them, and then uh you know paid for them, waited a couple of days so they showed up. It took about four days to come in. And anytime I get a used pair of shoes, um, what I'll do first is I'll scrub them down, you know, get some soap and water, wash them by hand, scrub them, and then I'll throw them in the washing machine. And I always put them inside of a, you can use like, like people say you're not supposed to put your shoes in the washing machine, but that is the only way to get the fungus out from the inside in case, you know, you don't want to get athlete's foot or anything or any fungus up under your toenails. The only way to get that stuff out is through the washing machine. And uh, I usually put them in. You can use like an old pillowcase. Throw your shoes in there. Tie up with the other end and wash them like that. But I have some mesh laundry bags that, that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. And I use those. You can fit one shoe in a bag. So I throw those in the washing machine. And let them air outside. Air dry overnight. I mean not all, overnight. But you know a couple hours outside. They'll dry in the sun. And they came out super clean. And these things don't have a lot of use in them either. I don't think that the guy had them too long. You know, the bottoms ain't too yellow. They got a little yellowness to them. But it's not too bad. There's no heel drag or nothing like that. You know, there's no paint scratched off on the midsoles. So I didn't have to do any work. As far as paint or anything, uh, like I said, there was nothing wrong with the paint on them. And there's no fraying in the leather, no, the stitching looks good on them, nothing's coming apart. And usually these are all scratched up on used pairs, but there's nothing wrong with these, so. It was a good pickup. And like I said, I have my own laces. I have a bunch of laces on um, Brand new laces is still in the bag, so I put them on here, put some white ones. And I took these that I used to have on my other ones, on the replicas. And these are real. They came from an authentic pair, but I sold that authentic pair. And I still got the other pair. The one with the jump man on the back, I got those. And now I got these authentic. So I got uh, both of the authentic Carmines. See, this is the one that's got the Nike on it. This one's got the Jumpman. I do have another one like this, but it's broken, so I had to use the one with the Jumpman on it. And like I said, these are in real good condition. Nothing wrong with them at all. And like I said, with the replica pair, they were they're pretty good, but one of them's got a jacked up toe box. It's too big. Like this one too, it's got a toe box is a lot bigger than the one on there. There's a little bit of a difference in the 
in the carmine. You can see this one's darker than this one. <coughs> and these got a lot of weight to them. They're real heavy. I think we should do a little comparison. Let me see. Of the authentic and the replica. So this is the replica. This is the real one. You can see there's a difference in the height on the Nike Air. The real one's higher. The replica is a little lower. You can see this is a, a lot wider than the one on the replica here. I'm trying to line them up as good as I can. As far as the weight goes, yeah, the replica is a lot heavier. I don't know why. And you can see the difference in the, in the shape of them. It's not very, they're not very different. It's just, you know, I think these only flaws were the, the big toe box. Like, they weren't glued down. Or I'll show you the slope of them. See how one's sm slimmer than the other? That was the main difference in them. Well, that and this jump man on the front. See how this one's kind of jacked up and it's very small. And the one on there is um, full size. You know, there's not a lot of differences in them, but if you know your shoes, you can tell just by looking at them how small that jump man is. It's not supposed to be that little. I'm trying to see if I can see any other obvious differences. I don't really see any. Well, you can see there how it's not as smooth as this one. It's got a lot of crinkles in it. So yeah, but back to the shoes. Let me bring the other one back. It's a pretty good pickup on eBay. And I may do a lot more of the authentic shoes that I have that I haven't shown yet because of the... On the replica side, the agent that I use, Sugar Goo, they updated their, you know, their website and everything's all messed up and glitched out and stuff, so... I just paid for one shoe to come in and that's going to be it for a while until they get all their stuff worked out. But I do have plenty of authentic shoes that I haven't showed yet so that's probably what I'm going to be doing in the meantime. So I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here and I will catch you on the next video.